Hey everyone, it's Matt Catling here, and I'm here to interview the band The Flowers. They're just going to be doing a set tonight, and I'm looking forward to it. It's at the Rough Trade East, and we're here with one of the members from The Flowers. How you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And yeah, so yeah, this, I'm going to start these questions. So, how long has the band formed? Um, we all met in 2012, so a few years ago now. Um, and we spent one sort of long spring and summer just practicing every day and writing loads of songs. And then, yeah, in September that year is when we played our very first gig. So we've been together a few years now. Okay. Sounds really cool. It's, um, I heard you, um, we were talking about this uh, just a bit, little while ago, that um, you've been touring around a bit and, and you said that you mentioned that Germany loves you, loves the band and stuff like that. How did that feel? Well, it feels great. I think most of Germany is probably still in the dark about us, but, yeah, there's this one little town called Augsburg, and they love indie pop there. They all, like, DJ with original Sarah Records compilations, which is just crazy, and they're all really lovely. And, yeah, they're big fans, which is great. Um, Sometimes a few of the people we met there come to London, and it's lovely having sort of fans from all over the place, and, you know, you make really good friends, and... I feel like the indie pop crowd is, um, they, it's sort of like a hobby they have to go to gigs. So you see people from that town in Germany at an indie pop gig in France or in London or in New York even. So, yeah, it's really great. Uh, so next question is, uh, can you describe the band for me? Uh, we always hate doing this, but we've had to do it loads of times. So now we've distilled it down to sometimes noisy indie pop because we have some really quiet bits and some very noisy bits and it's always indie pop so yeah it's brilliant I like that the noisy indie pop thing it suits really well I like it because you can really do a lot with indie guitar work whether you can make it jangly or noisy that's what I like about it I kind of like if I was in a band I'll make it fuzzy as well I like you know I like the fuzz pedals whether it's a big muff or works really well on the indie guitar sound I think so that's brilliant Next question, what are the band's influences and favourite albums of all time? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, okay, I don't think I could say from all time because we have we all we love so much different music. But I would say things we've been listening to a lot recently because we go through weird phases of loads of different kinds of music. But at the moment we've been listening to a lot of um, like the clean and violent femmes. We always listen to a lot of the Misfits and Ramones because it's just so fun. And they write like perfect pop songs, like two minute pop songs. Um, what else have we been listening to recently? Um, a lot of David Bowie because sadly he passed away. And so we've been reminiscing with all of his albums. And he's just a genius, you know. So. Yeah, it was kind of strange that David Bowie passed away a month ago. It was uh, kind of a shock to everyone that was in that loved his music. Even I done loved his music. I've been listening to a lot of his albums since, and I've been going through that phase actually. And then I kind of listened to a lot of different stuff myself. Um, newer bands that a lot of people haven't heard of before, and I've been really big with that at the moment. So yeah, it's been kind of um, kind of a ride. As I thought, music was a bit at this at its peak as on Bowie's. Uh, death I found uh, it was um, how I saw it at that time it's um, it kind of sad really that's how I... yeah. it is sad but it's amazing that he's left such a huge legacy and he's influenced he's probably one of the biggest influences even for genres of music that you would think are not that related I think he's been a massive influence and just culturally so like you said, it's tragic, but it's also... I mean, no one's ever going to forget David Bowie, so that's a great thing. I know what you mean. Never leave a legend behind, that's yeah. what, how I describe it. OK, next question is, what is the nicest thing that, that a critic or another band has said about the band? Uh, I, oh, I don't know. People say loads of nice things. Um, oh God, I can't think of one best thing, but... I don't know. I mean, everyone is always really nice to us about our music. Well, not or in person, everyone's always lovely. We've had a couple of reviews that weren't as glowing, but in general, everyone's been seems really positive about this new record. And I think our favourite reviews from this record have been ones where they say, you know, they like the first record, but 
um, they prefer this one and they you know they really like the direction we're going in because that's how we feel about it like there was some stuff we weren't that happy with on our first record um, like it was a bit it was a lot cleaner um, and sort of more produced than we wanted it to sound and this one's got a lot more distortion and we really like that but we, were, we didn't know how many other people would like that and luckily everyone's been really positive about it so that's that's nice uh, so the last question is new album out today what can we expect from the band well we were talking about this the other day um, we're going I mean in the immediate future we're going on tour around the UK which we're really excited about and then we're gonna do a tour around some of Europe and America at some point later in the year um, and do some festivals and stuff um, but apart from that what we were saying is because people often ask us like what's your next step up how are you gonna improve and our answer is get loads of like stickers with our logo on and stick them on everything <laughs> because bands that have like flowers written in big writing on their drum kits you know it, they look so professional and we always feel like we look a bit sort of ramshackle so we're going to get stickers with our written flowers on stick it on all our equipment and then we feel like we'll be a next level band <laughs> anything you would like to add before we end the interview um no, just thanks so much for meeting me and yeah, it's been really fun. Um, is there a song that you would like to pick on my show that you want to request on my show that I'm going to play? Any song by anybody. Uh, could you play uh, Thumbs Off by The Clean, please? Thank you very much. No worries, thank you.